everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new fan-made video game called Ghostbusters Haunted Hunting Ground. Now, if you missed it last week here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel, we actually featured the trailer to this game. And as revealed in that trailer, this game was made within another video game, the PlayStation exclusive Dreams. If you're not familiar with Dreams, once again, it's a video game that allows you to make your own video games. It's a pretty easy concept, and over the past couple years, we've been featuring some really cool Ghostbusters creations. With a lot of those creations being made by Ghostbusters fan, Ryan Ward. And once again, Ryan Ward, he is back with a brand new offering, like I said at the beginning of this video, Ghostbusters Haunted Hunting Ground. Now let's go ahead, hit the play button, and let's get into this one here today. I'm pretty excited to give this one a go. It seems like with every Ghostbusters game that Ryan Ward uh, releases within Dreams, they just continue to get better and better. And I'll be honest also, I'm coming into this entirely blind. Aside from watching that trailer and also doing a bit of voice work for this game, uh, I really don't know too much about it. And, and there it is right there, Jason Fitzsimmons from Ghostbusters News. That's me as the voice of the ghost. So if you wind up playing this game and you hear ghost, you know, making fun of you, ridiculing you, just know that is me. Um, but yeah, once again, I'm going to, into this entirely blind. I know you can create your own Ghostbuster, which I'm looking forward to doing. And from what I've read, there's like three different play modes you can jump into. Uh, there's also a few different uh, weapons you can use. Oh, there's the ghost just sliming the screen, leaving some green disgusting slime there and whoa uh, my game controller coming out of the speaker of it I've got some audio some some dialogue let me actually hold this up to the microphone here I'm a scientist but I also collect spores mold and fungus they don't need to know about your hobbies Egon right you can hear right there we've got a uh, voice work of what sounds like the real Ghostbusters characters Ray Stance and Egon Spangler and right now, they are uh, pretty much just walking me through a tutorial here. Uh, it looks like we've got a couple different styles of ghosts that we're going to be able to battle here in this game. We've got like regular ghosts, we've got ghosts that are on fire, we have ghosts that are covered in slime, which, I mean, aren't all ghosts covered in slime? And then it looks like there was another ghost there that was kind of like in a protector bubble, almost like a shield. And right now... I cannot move. I I mean, I can move the camera around, but I can't move my player. You can see right there, we've got the real Ghostbusters proton pack, Neutrono wand in hand. Moving the camera around here. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I love that poster. Missing kitten. If found, please return to Vigo the Carpathian. Uh, we also got some art back there of the real Ghostbusters Slimer, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and a slime version of the Ghostbusters logo here. Uh, I I can't wait. Come on, get, let, let me get control of my character. I want to play right now. Now, before we can play, it looks like we're going to have to create our own character, which you can see here. Uh, just slipping aside there, we've got <laughs> some human heads. We've got Slimer, another human head. Uh, looks like we've got the Bug Eye Ghost from the Kenner Real Ghostbusters line. Uh, what else do we got? The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Kind of a zombie deadite looking character. You know what? I think I've got to go with Stay Puft, or I guess I guess that could be a mini puff too, given Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, select the hair. Oh, I, I gotta go with the real Ghostbusters Egon Spangler hair. I mean, I'm gonna flip it through here to see what else is available. Kind of like a tombstone tackle uh, football helmet. I love that. But yeah, oh sailor's cap. I gotta go I gotta go with that Egon hair. And then select an accessory, glasses, goggles. <laughs> the Ray Stance Cigarette. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skim through here right quick to give you an idea as to what else you can choose. But to me, the cigarette. Come on, that's got to be the go-to, right? And then we can choose our Proton Pack, which we've got the real Ghostbusters. We've got the movie. A couple different color variations there. Uh, the Ghostbusters 2 Slime Blower. And it looks like some color variations of the Slime Blower. I got to go with that. Let's see if we have the, uh, yeah, the actual blower itself there. And we can even choose the color of our leg hose. I mean, who, who would even ask for that feature? I mean, I'm not angry that it's here, but, uh, you know, being that I'm a, a marshmallow man, let me go with the white leg hose. I mean, a leg hose is like a pee hose, right? 
And I kind of like the idea of the marshmallow men just being white liquid marshmallow. So we can now move around and use the X button to jump. Uh, oh, here comes the ghost. Let's aim at the proton stream and... Uh, okay. And... Okay, we got him. Got him there, good. Now we've got a fire ghost in behind here, it looks like, and you can see it's telling me to choose the Hydro Blaster. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen, it looks like, yeah, we've got Hydro Blaster, Slime Blower, Marshmallow Grenade. Uh, let's go ahead and choose a Hydro Blaster, because I'm assuming the Hydro Blaster is water, which means, you know, water beats fire, right? So let's go up to this ghost here and douse him. Oh! Oh, 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 just threw like a fireball at me. Let's see here. And you can actually take up the, you know, the fire that's on the ground using your hydro blaster. That's so cool. Let's continue along here. See what kind of threat is around this corner. And we've got ourselves a slime ghost, which to beat the slime ghost, I'm going to have to choose the slime blower. I just love the marshmallow man with the cigarette in his mouth. Kids, don't smoke. That's my PSA for this video. And let's douse this disgusting slime covered ghost. There he is, he's down. And I wonder. Yeah, I can clean up the green slime on the ground with the pink slime slime blower here. And for this ghost that's in the shield, I'm supposed to use the marshmallow grenades, which <laughs> they're just little marshmallows that are on fire. And now that I've broken the shield, Let's fire up the proton stream. Give him full stream. There we go. And it looks like we've got a dead end up here, but there's a couple of things I can grab. Looks like we got a health kit, and that is an Ecto-1 license plate. Grab the license plate, grab the health, and now I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, so it looks like we can choose an arena plan. Uh, so there is the alleyway, alleyway, which we were just in. There's also the graveyard, the prehistoric museum, and Rust City. Rust City's Ghostbusters Afterlife. We gotta go to Ghostbusters Afterlife, right? Let's now create a new character. And I created a Marshmallow Man last time, so this time let's go with Slimer. We're gonna put this ghost hat on his head. And then let's, uh, I don't know, we already done the cigarettes, so let's give Slimer the pipe. Make him a, a little bit more dignified. And being that we have the real Ghostbusters gear here already selected, give him that. And do we have a, yeah, a funky neon uh, leg hose. And as I mentioned earlier there, there's a couple different play modes here. We've got time mode, which kill as many ghosts in a time limit. Survival mode, pretty much survive as long as you can. And then save Bill mode, where we have to save someone named Bill. And I don't think it's Bill Murray. So let's go ahead and jump into time mode and see if we can beat the clock. On the bottom right hand side, you can see we've got three minutes. We got a last. We got a ghost there in the uh, kind of like in that shield. So let's fire up. Whoa! Those are Ghostbusters. Uh, marshmallow grenades. We got him there. Proton stream. Come on. Oh, he's on fire now. So it looks like the ghosts can actually change randomly their special abilities. But, uh, yeah, that's okay. We've got, we got enough gear. We, we can handle any situation, right? And you can see right there, that one's shifted from being inside of a, uh, kind of that shield to now being on fire. This one over here, just a normal ghost. Oh, okay, we got him. And choose the Hydro Blaster. Whoa, there is a lot of fire around here. You know, the camera in the game, it's a little wonky, I will say. But the game control is really nice here. Like, there's been, like, a lot of uh, Ghostbusters games, actually just games in general within Dreams, that the controls are a little questionable. They're not really the best. But this feels good. This is responsive. Uh, let me you know, jump around here. Woo! Oh, there's an Ecto-1 license plate I just jumped into. And right now we are down to our final 20 seconds here. Oh, okay. Things are getting tense here. I still got half a health bar left, so I'm definitely going to survive this. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to. You can see we got some barrels there uh, that are on fire. I was kind of afraid maybe one would explode next to me and I would have kind of bit the big one there. And... Alright, okay, there we go. 
Eight Ghosts busted this battle. Congratulations. And once again, we have Slimer there smoking the pipe. Now, after playing in Rust City, let's go to the prehistoric museum this time. And I'm assuming we're probably likely going to have to make another custom Ghostbuster. And being that we made a Marshmallow Man and then Slimer, let's kind of, you know, go a little bit more normal here and maybe do Egon Spangler. We got his you know, hair there. We got his glasses. And let's mix it up a little bit and do the movie style Proton Pack and Wand. And you don't know, like hose this. Let's keep it yellow. Yeah. And game mode, we're going to try survival mode here and see how long we can last. Got a shielded ghost there. Let's go up and bust him. And actually, looking at the map here, this kind of reminds me a lot of the 2009 Ghostbusters video game where there was one of the levels that were based in the museum. And actually, in particular, this Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, in the animated version of the game that was released for the uh, the Nintendo Wii and the, the PlayStation 2 and the PSP, you had to battle a, a spectral uh, spectral Tyrannosaurus Rex there. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Just jumped that railing there. Too many ghosts. Run, Egon. Actually, I just noticed this. I really, I don't think there's a run, a run button. Just this kind of like moderately kind of paced walk here that I'm doing. But uh, yeah, that Tyrannosaurus Rex definitely reminds me a little bit of the the T-Rex boss that was in the stylized version, the animated version of Ghostbusters, the video game. Oh, and I haven't really talked about it thus far. But uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the the, uh, the video here, I did some of the voice work for the game. And actually, let's uh, kind of turn the audio up here the game a little bit and hear these marvelous, marvelous uh, sound bites that I recorded for this. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doomsday. Be gone, human. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but if they ever decide to start giving out Oscars for video game performances, I mean, I, I gotta be in the running, right? I mean, that was a, a wonderful, wonderful performance. Now, taking a look around here, I love the art that is on the wall here. You can see we got Slimer either being sucked into or coming out of a ghost trap. Hey there! Speaking of ghosts, uh, don't take my eye off the ghosts. And you know what? I'm kind of curious here. Run, 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 run! Jump this, jump this! Can the ghosts actually get across? Oh, yeah, they can. They can totally get across the railing. Okay. I thought maybe I had uh, found an exploit that I could have used. Got the marshmallow grenade prompted here. And I think my time is numbered here. I'm... Oh, look at my health on the top left-hand side of the screen there. My guy has seen better days. And, oh, just a big ball of fire engulfs the screen. 11 ghosts busted this battle. Congratulations! Now, we've done the Rust City, we've done the Prehistoric Museum. Now, and finally, let's head to the graveyard. Like I said, that tutorial mission uh, took place in the alleyway. So the graveyard is last, and once again, let's make a Ghostbuster here. Let's, uh, let's try and make Winston Zetamore. That's Winston-ish hair. Slap some ecto goggles on old Winston, and let's do that. Yeah, that really funky kind of ecto cooler Neutrono wand there. Get the matching wand to proton pack together. We can select a leg hose color once again, and I, I don't know. But let's let's go purple, I guess. And this one is going to be save Bill mode, where we have to save Bill. Oh, hi there, Bill. So this is Bill. Um. And you can see on the bottom right hand side of the screen, I have to say Bill for 1 minute and 20 seconds. Or sorry, 1 minute and 30 seconds uh, was the actual total time there. So we got some fire ghosts here. Let's uh, use the Hydro Blaster. And Bill just looks frightened, man. Look at those glasses and those little bit of facial hair. He kind of reminds me a bit of um, uh, JonTron a little bit, the YouTuber, just with, just with glasses on. Okay, let's bust this guy. And Bill! Bill, you got legs, buddy. You got legs. Run away from the fire. Why are you standing in fire? Oh, man. Bill. 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 Why are... Can, can you just walk away? I mean, when I say walk away, I don't mean, like, awkwardly do, like, a side strut. I mean, actually walk away. Oh, this is getting intense. Oh, that one's on fire. I gotta use the hydro. This is getting intense. No! I'm stuck! I'm stuck in the slime! 
Get off! Come on, Bill! Bill, what are you doing? We only have 25 seconds left, Bill. We can do this. We can do this, Bill. Ah. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. No, no, no. Hydro Blaster. Hydro Blaster. 15 seconds. Bill! No, Bill. I didn't... I didn't save Bill. So, Ghostbusters fans, that does it for a look today at Ghostbusters Haunted Hunting Ground. I'm going to give this one a big thumbs up. It was just fun. Uh, once again, creator Ryan Ward, he did an amazing job here, I think. Um, I know it's not for everybody, especially with the visual style, almost kind of appearing like claymation. But once again, I just found the gameplay here quite fun. And if you want to give this one a go, uh, we got all the information on how you can do so down below in the description. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.